And hoping, obviously, that the fog we're seeing tonight yes. is going to be gone by tomorrow night. But uh -huh. you're saying tomorrow morning could be a little dicey. Yeah, some of us may have to go back to work. I know kids are still out for school, but for that morning drive, again, make sure you get yourself some additional time. We're just talking about dense fog. We're not talking about any uh, wintry precipitation as of yet. But again, dense fog advisories are going to continue to last until noon for tomorrow afternoon. And just take a look at some of our ODOT, ODOT cameras across the area from Akron over to Westlake. Euclid right now still tracking lower visibility, but things have been improving in and out throughout the evening. But more than likely, we're going to continue to see dense fog. Again, visibility being cut down to a quarter of a mile or less. The advisor again lasting until noon for tomorrow afternoon, and we're tracking current visibility. To cur the closer you are to the lake, that is where we have a thicker low level clouds and the fog already setting up. So visibility is already cut down to a quarter of a mile or less in many locations right along I 90 here. But it's all quiet, or appears to be quiet on Doppler radar, although some of us could be seeing a little bit more sprinkles, some drizzle, but that's going to be beneath the radar beam. Again, cloud deck is about 200 to 300 feet when you're dealing with low level clouds. So that's something we're going to be tracking, although it's not going to be showing up on reflectivity. So we have this upper level low that's sort of been hanging out in the central plains throughout the past weekend or so, giving much of the plains blizzard conditions and this is a fully mature low pressure system so although it's looking like it's trying to move closer in our direction it's still going to be hanging out for the next 24 hours and the maturity of this low is fully wrapped with cooler temperatures and usually when we have a low pressure swinging in our direction we usually get that that slug of more or warmer temperatures but unfortunately the mild temperatures yeah, they're over and done with over the past weekend. Tomorrow, we're only looking at a high of 49 degrees, and that's going to be earlier on. We briefly could touch the mid-40s throughout the afternoon, but the morning fog and spotty showers are going to be the two main concerns for your Thursday. So we're tracking spotty showers or your National Design Mod hourly forecast. Temperatures not fluctuating all that much throughout the uh, overnight hours. Temperatures, again, maintaining in the mid to upper 40s, but spotty sprinkles possible throughout the afternoon. Then again, as we get close to the early, Early evening approaching sunset. Spotty showers possible around 8 o'clock, getting closer to kickoff, but we eventually clear out with clearing skies by the time we approach Friday morning. So here's your current game day forecast. The going forecast right now is calling for, uh, for a little bit more of isolated to scattered sprinkles possible with temperatures in the lower 40s. It should not be uh, rain all throughout the game, but closer to kickoff, more than likely we're going to see some showers in and around the metro. Let's talk about your New Year's Eve preview, because as we get closer to this weekend, we're going to be tracking the inbound clipper system, and that's going to give us a uh, first round of maybe some rain and snow as we get closer to early Saturday. Then Sunday into Monday, a cold front slides in, dipping more rain and snow ch chances in our direction for Sunday into early Monday. So here's your Union Home Mortgage 10-day outlook. Again, we're tracking those cooler temperatures, rain and snow showers possible Sunday into Monday, then trending close to more seasonal temperatures as we get closer to next week. Christy? All right, good to know, Anthony. Thank you for the heads up.